So I received a post from a friend of mine who's in Greece right now and Michael, I hope you get to see this. Um, very disturbing. He was um, going to meet some friends uh, on um, a corner they they meet every day. He was an hour late because he was seeing his aunt that's in hospital <clears throat> in very bad shape. And Michael, while on his way to meet with his friends, had noticed at one particular area that there was a very large gathering of people and there were TV cameras. And while there are riots going on, I have to tell you, the Greek people themselves are not rioting. It is provocateur, let us say. It is being pushed this way to bring in a total police state on Greece. All of this being perpetrated with fraud and collusion with the government officials of Greece, with the central banking cartel and the IMF. And this is what happens when you allow a central bank like the Federal Reserve Bank, a private bank, into your country to run your treasury. You know, we do need Ron Paul. We need him. We need to get behind our candidate. And we need to be in our local councils. Right now, we have less than five and a half months to ensure that voter registr registration is valid. Anyway, I'm looking for this post from Michael. And he said, 90 minutes ago, I was approaching a building on Solomon Street for my noon meeting with friends and I was an hour late because of my uh, visiting the hospital to see my aunt. Just thought I would pop in to say hello to my friends in the group. Noticed a large crowd outside the street, TV cameras and lots of people. There is a woman on a ledge of the fifth floor of a building ready to jump. The building is four buildings over from the corner of Salamu and Patisson Street. The occupied OEK, a worker syndicate. The woman has been sitting on the ledge crying and saying she's waiting for the government minister to come see her splatter on the ground below. She wants her children to know that they have been reduced to slaves in these conditions she can't take it anymore I'm trying to figure out trying to figure it out a few days ago used the word genocide on the people of Greece from Europe central banking and the lackey dogs here in the Greek government if this isn't genocide I don't know what is and he's absolutely right there is more than one way to murder people you know war and bullocks economics we've seen it the world over we've seen it in South America we've seen it in Africa we're seeing it in the Middle East you know this is outrageous and it's all been perpetrated through fraud massive fraud Iceland has fought back you know, four or five years ago, I started saying, as many others have said, that this collapse was coming. You know, and I first heard about it eight years ago from uh, a film called America, Freedom to Fascism. And you know what? That film now has been put forward as an earmark for anybody that's a dissident. So if you go on and you search for that film on the internet, the, NH, the uh, NAS, National whatever, the SS, they look at who's watching this film and sharing it. And uh, that's come directly from the, the Department of the New World Order Control Freak Society. I hate to, I'm really upset. I'm, th I'm thinking of a woman sitting on a ledge five stories up and she has children and 
you know, I heard about this from the 1930s, that there were people jumping out of buildings in New York City. You can go and look that up. There's documentaries about how many people committed suicide in the collapse in the 1930s. And it is a form of warfare on the people. And it is being perpetrated. I also came across another article where it says that Putin is actually put out an arrest warrant for George Soros. Soros. Uh, if that's true, that's a, a bit of good news. You know, we need to be taking this to the world courts as well. Uh, on the topic of what's happening right now, I see that another article about massive voter fraud in the main elections and very little is being said about this. You know, we have we we shown there was voter fraud in New Hampshire. That film is still circulating on the internet where one young man went in and claimed on the names of dead people and they were still on the voter registration. People, we need to wake up. You know, we need to fight on many levels. We aren't fighting our government. We're fighting a shadow government created by our own tax dollars. When you look at Washington, D.C., you're looking at a nation within a nation. And that, nation's, that nation has declared war on the Republic of the United States of America, no less. And you need to come to it to uh, the reality that this is no longer a, a left, right, blue, red, Republican, Democrat question. This is actually a question of totalitarianism under the rule of a fascist government, a socialist medical care, a communist military system, an educational system that will continue to dumb down our children. You know, occupy, occupy your local councils. Get educated on what Agenda 21 is. Get educated on the fact that it, for many, many years, we have sat back and let, allowed people to run our government into the ground for their own benefit. And they don't care who else gets injured. They don't care if this woman dies. They don't care. If this is the new world order, I, you know, I want no part of it. They can come pick me up for being a dissident. I don't care. It just said, if there are elites in this world, th th that's another oxymoron, sort of like humanitarian bombing. That's an oxymoron. Elite. What's so elite that you can't manage things, you know, that you have to, to create collapses like this? And if you look at it, you can see this collapse goes around like a, 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 a roulette wheel, but one that's rigged. You know, first we'll collapse all of South America, then we'll collapse this, that, and the other, then we'll collapse Europe, and you, you can actually read it in their own books. You can read George Soros's memoirs. You can read uh, Brzezinski. You can read his. You can read Kissinger for crying out loud. How many things do you have to read before you realize this was a very intricate plan? And it's not been around since yesterday. It's been around for 50, 60, 100 years. You know, we as people, we're trained to think minute to minute, hour to hour, day to day, paycheck to paycheck. The people in charge are thinking generations, if not eons, ahead. They want to control every new age that comes up. They want to control every piece of property, technology, and and our inability to take that on board and realize not everyone is like us, take it on because not everyone is like you. There are people out there that that want to control. Face up to it. The American dream, you have to be asleep to believe it. Yeah. 
anyway i'm gonna let this go and i hope michael you stay safe and i can see that this might really have a lot more women and children you know this is no no more devastating or no less devastating than than placing harsh sanctions on Greece they were in so much trouble when they joined the union they had 70 percent employment government employment over a 30 percent private sector how can you maintain that how can you have maintain that sort of you can't because you'd have to have a fascist system to do it just encourage people to educate themselves and awaken this is 2012 this is probably our last shot of humanity freeing itself legally and lawfully we have a duty to be in our councils. We have a duty to be in our state senates. We have a duty to speak to our government. It is our duty to each other as human beings. It is our duty to tell the truth and to share these news uh, broadcasts as well. Anyway, I'm going to get off. I thank you for your time. And Michael, I, I am. I'm sending you so much positive energy. I know it's very difficult for you. And I wish I could be there with all my heart. Just know that I am there with you.